Have you ever wondered how a hero can defeat a monster that can turn anyone to stone with just one look? Well, that's exactly what Perseus did when he faced the Gorgon Medusa. Here's how he pulled it off. Perseus was the son of Zeus and Danae, a princess who was locked up by her father because of a prophecy that said he would be killed by his grandson. Zeus came to her in the form of golden rain and impregnated her. When her father found out, he put them in a wooden chest and threw them into the sea. Luckily, they were rescued by a fisherman and taken to an island ruled by King Polydectes. Polydectes wanted to marry Danae, but she refused. He also wanted to get rid of Perseus, who was now a young man and a threat to his plans. So he came up with a clever scheme. He pretended to marry another woman and asked all his guests to bring a gift of a horse. Perseus, who had no horse, promised to bring anything the king wanted. Polydectes then asked for the head of Medusa, one of the three Gorgon sisters who had snakes for hair and eyes that could petrify anyone who looked at them. Perseus, who had no choice, accepted the challenge. Perseus knew he couldn't do this alone, so he asked for help from the gods. Athena, the goddess of wisdom and war, gave him a polished shield that could reflect Medusa's image. Hermes, the messenger god, gave him a pair of winged sandals that could fly him to the end of the world where the Gorgons lived. He also gave him a sword and a bag to carry the head. Perseus also got help from the nymphs, who gave him a cap that made him invisible, and the Grii, three old women who shared one eye and one tooth. He stole their eye and forced them to tell him where to find the Gorgons. Perseus flew to the lair of the Gorgons, where he found them sleeping. He carefully approached Medusa, the only mortal one, and looked at her reflection on his shield. He then swung his sword and cut off her head. He quickly put it in his bag and flew away, avoiding the wrath of her sisters. As he flew, he noticed that from the drops of Medusa's blood, two creatures emerged, Pegasus, a winged horse, and Chrysor, a giant with a golden sword. They were the offspring of Medusa and Poseidon, the god of the sea. Perseus returned to the island with the head of Medusa and presented it to Polydectes, who was shocked and terrified. Perseus then used the head to turn him and his followers to stone. He then freed his mother and gave the head to Athena, who placed it on her shield. Perseus became a hero and went on to have many more adventures. And that's the story of Perseus and Medusa, a mythical tale of courage and cunning.